hi everybody welcome back to our channel cooking go wild today we are making pig foot gravy yes so like comment and subscribe share the video with your friends your family and yeah let's get right into it so to start off the seasonings we use were seasoned salt black pepper maggi cube and garlic powder and then we just added in some rosemary along with some water. And we're gonna put this in the pressure cooker for about 13 minutes. So for this recipe, we're using three bell peppers and seven habanero peppers. As you can see right here, we're just dicing up the bell peppers. And for the habanero peppers, be aware that they are hot. So if you are doing this at home, you can use whatever amount works for you. So now we're just adding in all the bell peppers that we cut up along with the habaneros and you just want to put that in the blender. So next you want to cut up four onions and you can really just cut them any size you'd want. So you also just want to check on your pig feet in the pressure cooker just to make sure it's cooking well and it looks okay. So now we're going to pour some oil into the pot and just let that get hot for a little bit. So after the oil gets hot, we're just going to add in our onions and we're going to saute them for a couple minutes. So now you want to add in about three tablespoons of tomato paste into 
your onions and you're just going to want to mix that in really well. So after it's been cooking for a while, you really just want to add in your blended peppers into the pot little by little. You also want to add in the same seasonings that you use for the pig feet along with some basil leaf and some water from the pig feet that you boiled in the pressure cooker. So you just want to continue to keep stirring that really well. You can also add in some more Maggie cubes to the mix. So next you want to just add in your pig feet from the pressure cooker and stir that in really well. Get it mixed, get all the sauce on it. So you want to continue to let that cook and sit for about 10 minutes until the water dissolves. And this is what it should look like when it's done.
so once again thank you guys for coming back to this channel thank you guys for watching this video i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and let us know what else you want to see so we can keep just putting out great content for you guys hey everybody welcome back to our channel cooking going wild so today we're going to be making something that was prepared by my uncle and it was just so delicious that we just wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can try it with us at home but before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video with your loved ones so we can continue bringing you great content so without further ado let's get right into the video so first you want to just boil your chicken And then once the chicken is boiled, you can begin to shred the chicken. Here it's done with a fork and a knife, but you can use whatever you'd like. Next, we're going to crack four eggs and we're just going to whip that in the bowl really good. So then you'll need three tablespoons of sugar. Here we're using powdered sugar, but you can use any sugar that you'd like. So next we're going to add our cornbread mix. Since we're making one pan, this recipe will call for three packs. So once you mix that in really well, you're going to want to melt down two sticks of butter and also add that to your mixture. So after you mix in your eggs, butter, and cornbread, you're going to add your heavy cream. And we use 32 ounces of heavy cream here, but you can use the amount that you believe is right until you get that nice smooth texture.
So after mixing it really well, you can go ahead and add in that boiled chicken and just stir that in with the mixture. So once all of that is done, you're going to get your pan and you can just begin to spray it down. You also want to preheat the oven at 400 degrees and then you can begin to pour your mixture into the pan. You then just want to bake that for about 25 minutes or until it's as brown as you want it. After the 25 minutes, you may pull it out of the oven and there you go, your chicken cornbread. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and definitely don't forget to subscribe for more.